the rabbit water leaked everywhere today. I don't know what happened. Um, so we use what are called rabbit nipples. Super glamorous, right? And they, we put them into a bucket, into a five gallon bucket, and they can drink from them. One of their gaskets gave out Chris Tink, so he was able, he's, I think he was working on it, I think he's fixed it. It's a problem that they have. You can get them at rabbitnipples.com. Isn't that fun? So this is the five gallon bucket with the nipples on it. So apparently they were thirsty. They had water in it yesterday, but it can slide into her pen that's in here. Wow, oh, I feel terrible. Why are you so thirsty? But anyway, that's what the nipple looks like. And then they, here, yeah, when you flick this, the water comes out. This is the book house. So they have all this space. This was their hay feeder, that's where we put their food. We've been keeping the hay contained because then it makes less of a mess. We use the deep bedding, so that's a lot of stuff in there. Um, we will clean it out in the spring. Um, and then she has a grate underneath her and then a second grate underneath her because lady rabbits dig out. The boys don't, so they don't have it in a big grate on the bottom. Um, when we here hold on this is one of our old rabbit hedges i think this is the first one chris built we lived in town that opens up goes in here so we have this tray or lid in here because there's a hole so what we did was is we opened it up so we had this one on the end there's another one and then they could go out underneath too so they had the whole run of the whole touch. This is the back side of the rabbit ha uh, house colony. And Chris milled all this wood. I think the, he may have milled the indoor wood too, but this is, you can see it from the back side. There used to be a dog house in here. Oh, there's a piece of string I should grab. But yeah, so these are our three boys who run amok. They get along well. They're chasing now. Um, and then our one female, Holly, who will be moving out soon. Oh, did you hear your name? Sweet girl. When we just had a dough house, um, they had a big grate that they could not dig through. This is where the dough house used to sit. The weird window was not here before, but this is the um, metal we had underneath it, um, elevated to keep the rabbit ladies in underneath. This is the outside of the house. There's a bunch of stuff here because they keep finding ways out the doors because we had a bunch of babies in here and they found a bunch of ways out. So we have some kind of not perfect solutions to keep the door shut. But that's our rabbit colony.